Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the quartile function in Excel. And this function allows us to find the quartiles of a data set. So we have our data set here where we have a bunch of students along with the test scores they have achieved. And we want to find our first, second, and third quartiles of this data set. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click in the cell where you want your answer to pop out. So in this case, our cell right next to Q1 for our first quartile, and we're going to put an equal sign in. Then we're going to type in quartile, as that is the function we're using. So quartile, then put a bracket, and as you can see here, the quartile function, we have array, comma, quartile. So array, we're going to put our arrangement of cells that we want to use in this calculation. So for us, that's going to be all of these data points for all of our students. So to get that, you're going to want to highlight all of the cells you want to be including in your calculation. Once you highlight all your cells, we're going to put our comma in. So put a comma, and then we have our quart, which stands for quartile. So here, we're trying to find Q1 or quartile 1. So we're going to put a 1 in. And that's going to tell us that we are going to find the first quartile in this arrangement of cells. So you can then hit enter. And that's going to pop out 57. So our first quartile for this data set is 57. So a little more quickly now, just to repeat, now we're trying to find Q2. So we're going to put an equal sign in as that's how we start all functions. Type in the function name, which is quartile, put a bracket, highlight all the cells you want to include in this calculation, put a comma, and finally put the quartile we're trying to find, which in our case is 2. And then hit enter. This time it's 67. And you can see I really quickly did the last one and it is 85. A little checking mechanism you can do just to make sure you haven't done a silly mistake or something, is your quartiles should get progressively larger as you go from 1, 2, to 3. But anyway, that's how you find the quartile using the quartile function in Excel. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.